Hey everybody, Ty Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well here. So, it's, we've been talking about it since Friday, and we really been talking about it since the beginning of the month, I should say. About this upcoming week, towards the middle of the month, we were talking about severe weather, and we're seeing it come into play here. So, get ready, as we're dealing with not one, but two slight risk. Here's day two, and here is day three. Day two has popped up out of nowhere, seemingly, with a risk for large hail, which is not surprising given the setup that we've been talking about recently. But damaging wind has also come into play, and a sneaky little 5% tornado threat area just to the west of Kansas City. We do need to be keeping an extra close eye on this throughout the day. There is a chance that we'll even be going live here on the channel to make sure we have things covered here. So make sure you have that bell on and make sure you don't miss that. And then the big day, as we talked about in previous time, has been Thursday right now. We don't have the particular numbers with the hazard risk yet. That's going to be coming by tomorrow morning. I'll probably have a video up then. But this has gotten a lot larger. Whereas before, we were mainly looking towards the Southern Plains and the parts of the Ozarks. We had mainly Dallas and maybe eastern parts of Oklahoma in play. Now we're dealing with central Missouri. We're dealing with Illinois and also Iowa, we're including even uh, Des Moines in there as well. So a lot of people under the gun here for the severe weather threat here. So like I said, definitely wanna make sure you have that bell on for what's ahead here. All right, so off to the wind maps here where you can see our troublemaker coming into play here. Basically, the synopsis hasn't changed. This trough comes in towards the southwest, takes a really deep dig over here, and then on top of that, when it does this, we get some ridging to occur off towards the southern plains and the midwest in particular. And this is what's ultimately going to set the stage for the severe weather. If you look to the bottom left here, you'll see how those temperatures will rise as we also see that ridging come into play, which is going to be another key component to the upcoming severe weather threat. As we go further along here, we'll actually go ahead and switch over to the low level jet. And what I want you to keep in mind here is that we had wind directions at the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere going this way. And then as we continue to go forward here, what we'll see, especially as we go into the loop here, watch how these wind barbs right here are gonna push almost to a northeasterly type of motion. So this is getting into Wednesday. You can see that these barbs are starting to change right there. With that, we already have our directional shear. And of course, we will have speed shear as well because those winds are blowing stronger at those levels of the atmosphere. Those are two key components to not just only severe weather, but tornadic development as well. So like I said, this is a pretty palpable threat here that we'll need to be keeping an eye on as we continue to go forward here. This is a better look at that loop as at a, a higher speed here. but across the board definitely starting to see some things check out here in regards to the threat to come here so as we all know that it takes more than just a really strong set of winds at different levels of the atmosphere to get a storm going there's other dynamics such as the moisture and as you can see here we have plenty of it coming from the gulf here probably one of the best moisture sources on the planet outside of the oceans so you can see this huge surge of moisture come into play here as we get into Wednesday and Thursday here. And this is going to be a huge component to our severe setup here. And the interesting thing to make note of here is that low pressure is in the perfect spot here. It's actually represented by that swirl that you would end up seeing once we go back into this loop here. You'll see it right here start to come into play as we get into the evening of Wednesday here. And look at how that moisture is just getting pulled into that region here. Also, I'm seeing something notably dangerous over here in this little southern sector over towards Oklahoma City as we head into Thursday evening. While I do think that there's going to be a cap in place towards this region, there is a chance that if that caps break, we could have significant severe weather over towards this part of Oklahoma here towards central and eastern Oklahoma as well. So like I said, there's potential for a pretty high ceiling event to occur here. This almost has the look of somewhat of a classic plane setup. We'll um, have to watch this further and see how the uh, models trend with this. But even so, we're probably not going to know for sure until the last minute. Trying to forecast if a cap will break or not is 
usually more of what I would call a now casting situation here. So the question to be had here is what's under the cap? We're going to take a look at that, which is usually instability. And in this case, we will have a lot of it in our in the form of mixer cape here and surface cape. But we're mainly going to be looking at all levels of the atmosphere. So we're looking at mixed. But as you can see here, there is a lot of ample energy with this setup over the next couple of days here. I haven't seen cape values this high really since summer. Like every maybe one setup during the winter where we get in towards 3000 joules per kilogram but i have no doubt that we end up hitting it as we get into thursday in particular even on wednesday where i think these severe parameters are a little less impressive we're still getting to 2000 plus keep in mind that the threshold number for cape is about a thousand joules per kilogram so we're doubling to tripling it so we're getting into that explosive environment type range here with all the other parameters we've looked at it's not a surprise that we have a slight risk and that maybe and i mean it's very conditional we could even see an upgrade to an enhanced risk for maybe the thursday setup in particular so a lot to keep track of here we'll be making more videos over the next couple of days leading up to the event and going beyond that point here so one thing i'm gonna take a look at normally i don't do this unless i'm actually notably interested in the potential is looking at the significant tornado parameter so if we continue to go forward here into Wednesday, we actually get some really impressive numbers towards this region. Now keep in mind that we have to have a thunderstorm over these regions in order for this to really verify worth anything. But one point of interest has been kind of over here towards Kansas, maybe uh, East Central Kansas, South Central Kansas, two different points of interest right there. So in that little southern sector, maybe even towards Greensburg, we could be dealing with a uh, notable setup here. Analogs are definitely there. Those uh, lapse rates are incredibly steep, steep here. So I, I think there is a pretty good shot at maybe a severe weather, a uh, notable severe weather outbreak potentially occurring among one of these two days. If we go towards Thursday here, here's where those um, here's where I was talking about where if that cap breaks, we could have some major problems here. One thing that I've said before is that there is pretty good capping inversion here, but by this time it does look like it try it's uh well actually there still is a cap here. The, the inhibition itself doesn't look that strong. But even so, if this stays sealed, we'll be safe. But if it doesn't, this right here could verify. I'm not trying to necessarily scare anyone, but definitely need to be paying attention over here if you're over towards South Central central and maybe even eastern oklahoma for thursday here so the last thing we'll do right now is we'll go ahead and take a look at what the, our radar could look like in regards to these next couple of days here so we'll just jump straight into the morning of wednesday here and kind of go on from that point you already see that little pressure coming into play here shower and storm activity picks up as we get into the afternoon for right now it's pretty isolated across the region but we'll have to watch this little boundary over here towards the south. I do think that over towards uh, central Missouri here could be a point of interest as well. But watch what happens as we get into the afternoon of Thursday here. This becomes a notably widespread event here. We get storms firing over here towards eastern Arkansas. We get increased activity over here towards southern Kansas. And then central Missouri just explodes as we get into the evening. Then here's their second area. And then even a third area over here towards Illinois, Illinois and Iowa here as we get later into the evening. This eventually will transition into a line and we may have to see what ends up unfolding for the severe weather threat on Friday evening. We'll get into that tomorrow, though. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate your patience waiting for the video i was trying to experiment with a couple of things here i hope you enjoyed i hope you found it useful if you did you know what to do smash that like button leave a comment and also hit that subscribe button if you could that being said you guys have a good night take care and i will see you very soon time metal at weatherman signing off